Hi, welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 3. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 26 of Book 3, which states that if we have two circles which are equal, in this case ABC and DEF, and if we have two angles from the center of the circle, in this case gamma and lambda, if gamma and lambda are equal, then the circumferences that are subtended by these two angles will also be equal. In other words, BKC will be equal to ELF. Or, if the angle from the, de from the circumference, in this case alpha, is equal to the angle delta, then we also have that BKC is equal to ELF. Now what Euclid didn't point out is the reason that we can say if gamma is equal to lambda or if alpha is equal to delta is because if gamma is equal to lambda, alpha is equal to delta or vice versa, just because alpha is less is half of gamma and delta is half of lambda. So in this case, if alpha is equal to delta or gamma equals lambda, if one is true, the other is true, vice versa. So to demonstrate this, first thing we're going to do is draw a line from B to C and E to F. Now if we look at the triangles B, G, C and E, H, F, the lines B, G, G, C, E, H and H, F are radii of equal circles and consequently are all equal to each other. We have a side angle side equal to a side angle side. So according to Proposition 4 of Book 1, we have that the two triangles are equal in all respects, or in other words, BC is equal to EF. So remember that, BC is equal to EF. So if you recall, the definition of similar segments is when you have two circle segments where the angles within the circular segments are equal to each other. In other words, alpha is equal to delta. This is the definition of a similar circular segment. Now according to Proposition 24 of Book 3, if you have two similar circular segments where the base is equal, in other words, if BC is equal to EF, then these two similar segments are actually equal, which means that the circumference BAC is equal to the circumference EDF. Now we started with equal circles. If we have equal circles and we're subtracting off an equal circumference, since we're taking something that is equal and subtracting something else that is also equal, the equality still holds and we have that BC is equal to EF because we've subtracted equals from equals. So thus we have demonstrated that if we have two equal circles, if the angle at G and H is equal, are equal, or if the angle from A and D are equal, then the circumference will also be equal. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.